All right, guys. I hope you're seeing me. I don't know if you are. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Are you seeing me? I want to make sure you're seeing me and it's clear. Let me get this light here. Hold on. We are. This is this is this is it, man. We are doing this live with all the mistakes and all the sloppy success. Am I right? I like sloppy success. All right. All righty. All right. So I want to know. Yay! You're seeing me. Awesome. Okay. I want to know. Who is in? I know we're starting a little bit early, but we got so much to cover. Um, <laughs> we got so much to cover, guys. So, um, yes, awesome. Kath from Romania, fantastic. I'm going to move this screen up here, and that way I can see you. If you're not seeing me on the screen, press the arrow, and it should um, start playing it. I'm so excited, guys. This is going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun. All right. Awesome. Hi. Yes, it is early, but I like to be everywhere early. And I wanted to tune in now and just spend a couple minutes seeing where you're from and thanking you because I know, oh my gosh, guys, I know it is so hard for moms to get five minutes to themselves, much less an hour. So I'm going to make this such a blessing for you. I'm going to give you the best of the best. I got my water here. I got my notes. I hope you have your workbook. If you don't, if you didn't get your workbook, because some people said that they had problems downloading it. If you didn't get your workbook, just get paper and take notes. I'm going to take these off so that they are not um, noisy because I do not want anything to interrupt what we're going to do today. From Chicago. Awesome. Yeah, let me know where you're tuning in from. I would love to know where you're tuning in from. And we should have several more people come on. A lot of people grabbed a spot, so I am believing for them to get online. Nebraska, Jenny from Nebraska, awesome. Tell me where you're tuning in from, Maine. Fantastic. My daughter um, did an internship at a bakery in Maine, Templeton, California. Texas is in the house. Pennsylvania, fantastic. Texas in the house again, awesome. Colorado, Canada, Connecticut, Missouri, Texas, Kentucky, fantastic. Awesome, awesome. Pennsylvania, Chicago, Myrtle Beach. I vacationed there before. Awesome, South Carolina. Grew up in South Carolina, girl. Fantastic. Buffalo, Southwestern Virginia. I am in Virginia. That is where I live. Fantastic. California, California, Colorado. Tamina, hey, girl. Ohio, fantastic. North Carolina and Canada. Awesome. And I know we have some um, uh, Las Vegas, New Mexico. We have some international mamas in the house. Florida, fantastic. Awesome. It's so good to see you guys. Alabama's in the house. Fantastic. Uh, well, it is exactly one o'clock. Iowa, baby. That's what Kelly says. <laughs> hey there. All right. Um, 30 minutes. Oh, no. Um, we, a lot of people, Guys, a lot of people said that they couldn't get off or maybe they worked in the day. So I am going to have a replay of this. But I encourage you because I've got a special, everyone who is live, I've got something special that um, as a bonus I'm going to give you at the end. So if you're live, you are very fortunate. Stay tuned in live. Um, Texas, Fargo, fantastic. Awesome, guys. I'm so glad you're here. So excited. So excited for you to be here. Okay, let me scroll down here so I can see everybody. All right, so we are going to just like hit the ground running, okay? This is going to be so good. Um, so let me let me see. Let me see. We got um, awesome, guys. We already have over 100 people. There's a lot of people registered, so I think we're going to have a lot more people join us too. So I'm so glad you guys are here. RVA mama, you know it. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia is in the house. Awesome. Now, um, first of all, let me just tell you that um, I am so proud of you because it's so hard for mamas to do this. I've got eight kids. I know it is hard to do this. And you're doing it, and you will be blessed. You, I promise you, 
you're going to defeat that fatigue. You're going to get more productive. You're going to have strategies and tools at the end of this to put into effect right away. So we are not going to waste any time. So if you got your workbook, awesome. If you don't, don't go get it now because we're going to hit the ground running. Just get some paper and pencil. But please do that. Make sure you are taking very studious notes because this is stuff you're going to want to go back on. This is um, basically survival techniques. So I'm going to close down some things here. So we are ready to rock and roll. I'm going to go ahead and do a um, screen share because I have some slides for you. I think that's going to help with uh, taking notes. So I did make some slides ahead of time and I want you, I'm going to go ahead and put those up here. I don't know about you, but um, I like, I like to take notes. I like bullet points. I like visuals. I'm just that kind of a mom and you may be that way too. If you are, I got you baby. Um, I've got all of the notes and we're going to have slides coming up here. So as a matter of fact, I worked my tail off getting these slides ready for you, Mama. So I hope you like them. I know it's going to be a blessing to you. Now, um, again, we have a special bonus for everyone who is live. So this is the best of the best stuff. This is a collection of um, just years and years. I'm going to try to pour into you in one hour. So get ready to drink from a fire hydrant, really because it's gonna come at you pretty strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. Bear with me because um, I am hoping I can get this set up. I rehearsed it yesterday, so it should be good. And do you see that? Can you see it? Yes, you can see it. Can you see that slide that says mom solution? Let me know if you can. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. <laughs> yes, it is awesome. I am going to get in here and scroll all the way down. Make sure you're seeing this. Guys, this is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. Awesome. Okay. Now, um, first of all, I'm going to honor you for showing up today because you have already proven that you are a rare breed indeed because a lot of people show up. But this is not a typical webinar. I, I know it's, I call it a masterclass. It is not a typical class because what I'm doing is, is very interactive. We're actually going to be going through these strategies in real time. So that's why I'm saying get your notes, um, get ready to execute it right now. I want you to, if you're distracted, then um, I'm going to tell you what, well, first of all, let me, let me explain who I am. Cause some of you are like, wait, who, who are you, Hannah? I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, so let me explain a little bit about me. I'm, um, I was dubbed America's number one Christian mom coach. I'm the founder of mom master university. I got eight kids, seven by birth. I've been on today's show, Rachel Ray Fox news, Wall Street journal, all that stuff. Um, and I, that happened because I developed these innovative techniques that work specifically for moms. And it totally transforms their lives. But I'm telling you, before we get started, I need you to close out. Oh, I'm so excited Germany's in the house. We've got a lot of MMU moms in Germany. So excited to see that. Uh, close out everything. I'm saying, I know you've got other tabs open. And if you're looking at your phone and you keep on going to Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or check your text or email, please. If you're going to get anything out of this, you've got to focus your attention. I know you can do this. Just give me one hour. You will get all of your time back. It is going to be such a blessing for you to get that back. So close it out before we get started. Deal? Dealio! Dealio! All right, now grab your workbook. Like I said earlier, if you don't have your workbook, that's totally okay. You can get that later and maybe transfer your notes to it, but just have paper and pen because you have to write this down. All right, got it? Now, first of all, how serious are you? I need to get a commitment because I have schedule this entire day. I spent hours preparing this. This is the best stuff. So I need to know if you're serious. So just put yes or no. Seriously, I, I need to know. Like I <laughs> tie up the kids and don't take them. <laughs> so just put yes or no. Um, and here's the deal. If you're not committed, this class is not for you. Because what will happen is you'll come back a month from now and you'll continue to perpetuate the cycle of attempt and fail, attempt and fail. And I, I don't want to let that happen to you. Like if you're in my crowd, I'm going to see a change in you. 
I'm not going to stand for it. I'm going to stand for something greater for you. Yes, 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 yes. I see the yeses. Praise God. Awesome. It's time for you to make a shift. Take action. That's what I'm here for. If it's not for you, I still love you. I, I have free resources that are available to you. But just for this masterclass, I am sharing my best information. And honestly, I only want to share it with people who are going to take action and radically improve their lives. Truthfully, I have, a, I have an excellent track record with moms. Like that's why moms pay me to help me transform their lives. I get results. I work with moms, help them get fit, organized, wealthy, fulfillment. I, I only like to work with those moms though who are here for change. And I'm going to take action on that. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. We got committed. Cycle broken. Big yes. I like that, Tori. That's powerful right there. I like it. I like that a lot. Okay. Now I need to make you a promise. And that is by listening to this entire class. Aw, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. By listening to this entire class, you will understand exactly what is causing mom fatigue syndrome. And you're going to be able to implement five strategies to get energized, focused, and productive. Sound good? Yes, it sounds good. Now imagine it's like making like duplicates of yourself, except you don't kill each other. You know, uh, you got all the bases covered. Now, spoiler alert. Wah, wah, wah. Now I have another promise. If you stick around to the end, I've got this help bundle and I'm, it's in my entire planning system that I use for everything from meals, helping get my kids dressed, their chores, every, all of my, in my entire planning system, this is what we sell for $97 free. Okay, I'm going to show you how you can get that free. Stay with me to the end. But before we get there, I need to know why you're here. It can help me serve you better on this masterclass. I sound, I see everything, guys. I'm, it's like, I see everything. No, but really, leave a comment right now where we're doing the comments. I want you to tell me what brought you here. Like, think about, um, I remember when I was, like, overwhelmed. It was like, I couldn't even decide, like, what... I was exhausted. I was I was fat and out of shape. I was in debt up to my eyeballs. My house was cluttered. So tell me, so overwhelmed, right? You need to improve your life. I got tired of being tired. I get you. I get you. Tell me why you're here. You can't be consistent enough. I got you. I got you. Awesome. Improvement. You need to grow. No motivation. All right. Well, you're motivated to be here. So that's awesome. My life exhausts me. You're overwhelmed. All the above, take control. Yes, homeschooling mom. Oh, you just lost your dad. Precious, precious. Praying over you. Also, overwhelmed to debt. ADD brain girl, I got you. I got you. God is changing my life. Awesome, Amisha. Fantastic. Um, can't organize it, girl. I'm with you. I can show you how to do that. Tired, emotional. You need to get motivated. You want to change the way you work. Girl, we can do that, Aaron. We can do that. Exhausted, overweight. I, I was there too, babe. I was there too. Kids running the show. Oh, we are not going to have that. Uh-uh. No. I'm going to show you how to be in control. ADD brain. Yes. Yes. Want to fit more in? Got special needs. Girl, I got you. Got you. You need help scheduling your day. Awesome. Awesome. Overwhelmed with homeschool. I was there too, baby. Grumpy. You don't need to be grumpy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Clutter. No motivation. Feel like you're spinning your wheels. Wow, that is so true. Anyone feel the way she feels? Like you just like you're not making any progress. Life falling apart at the seams. I got you, Patricia. I was there too. Guys, let me reassure you. Like, does this make you feel at least like you're not alone? You see how moms are just having we have issues, you know, whether it's clutter or debt or overwhelm or just I can't take it. Too many hats. I love it. Looking for a new me. Okay, but does it make you realize you're not the only hamster in a wheel? Like like she said, you're 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 not the only one who's not motivated or stressed and cranky or you lost yourself. I got you. You're not alone. Listen to me, that's gonna change. We're gonna change that starting today. We are going to change that. It is not luck that you're here. I believe you were destined to be here. We're gonna change that today because a lot of you I believe that a lot of you have big dreams for your life the reality just isn't matching up with the vision you know what I mean like where you are right now is so far from where you want to be well I got you that's gonna change now let me tell you a little bit about myself so you know who you're dealing with that's me oh Lord you think you guys have ADD brains I was the perpetual dreamer my mama tried to give me structure in my life by putting me in clubs and brownies and Three months into brownies, guys, the troop leader kicked me out, okay? 
Have you ever heard of a seven-year-old getting kicked out of brownies? They said she can't sit still. She can't pay attention. I was too difficult. She tried everything, violin lessons, dance lessons. They put me in special education, guys. I was in special ed. The school system didn't even know what to do with me. Well, eventually they tested me. They found out, you know what? She just, she just has a big imagination. And, and I had a really good friend who was a teacher and she helped me. She's my English teacher. She understood, came beside me and just really breathed life into me and taught me that I could write my own labels. And to make a long story short, I continued all the way to college, later grad school. I began a career as a therapist to help other people improve their lives. But as soon as I got pregnant with my first child, I wanted to stay home. And I, that's all I wanted. I didn't want to be a therapist anymore. I wanted to be a mom, right? And uh, I truly believe that's the highest calling. But after one kid and another and another, I realized I was in way over my head. Yes, the struggle is real my home now tell me if this sounds like you guys my home cluttered mess we were up to our ears in debt like creditors calling and i was trying to borrow from one card to pay another card our home was being foreclosed on i was out of shape i was depressed i had anxiety i mean one night it was so bad just our finances were so bad bad i couldn't find anything for the kids to eat and um I know like when some people say that, it means they can't find anything they want to eat. But like that night, there was nothing. There wasn't any bread. There's no cans of beans or there weren't even eggs in the house. And I couldn't use a credit card because we were maxed out. <laughs> Listen, sounds all too familiar. I got you. This is my life. I got you. So you understand where I was. And my husband didn't have a job at the time. We had already borrowed money from his parents and my parents. I didn't know what to do. When he came home, like, I remember crying saying, I don't know what to do for dinner. Like, it's one thing if it's just you, like, I can go without, but kids, like, no. Like, I can't tell my kids, I'm sorry, guys, you have to go to bed hungry. And I remember how utterly defeated my husband looked because he didn't have a job and my heart ached for him and he was trying his best. I didn't, I was trying my best. We just didn't know what to do. And then the doorbell rang, and you guys would probably think this is funny, but it, it was God's intervention, man. It was our pastor, and he was holding a bag of Einstein bagels. I'm, I will never forget this. He, he um, explained that he was visiting his daughter. He just got a job at Einstein Bagels, and she gave him all these bagels to take home, and he just felt God telling him to go by our house and drop them off. And I was like, yes! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Well, that night, guys, I was a wreck. I was so grateful. Like, I'm not saying I wasn't grateful. I was so grateful that I had something to feed my family for dinner. And I made it out like we were having like a big bagel party. But I was so disgusted too. And I swore I'd never let it get that bad again. And I'd love to say that that point my life took a 180 and everything changed, but that'd be a lie. See, there's a huge difference between wanting to change and knowing how to change. And I didn't know how to change. And I believe a lot of you today, like what I'm sensing from you and what you're telling me, and even there's you, I, I got you. I did. I felt shame. That is, that's exactly what I felt. Um, I was, I was still struggling. My health was still struggling. I had colds, allergies, fatigue. I couldn't pay the bills. The house was still the same shape, disorganized clutter. I was always anxious and I was embarrassed to share this, but I know if I don't share it, then I can't help anyone. But one day it did change, and I'm going to tell you what happened. I was walking into my bedroom, and I had a load of laundry ready to toss on the bed with all the other laundry that I kept shuffling around. And, um, you know, I mean, you can just imagine, you know, exhausted, depressed, had a baggy T-shirt, dirty hair, pulled back in a ponytail. I looked so old. I just caught a glimpse of myself, and I looked so old, and I was disgusted at myself, and I broke down. And I began sobbing right there on the pile of laundry, like ugly crying, you know, where you can't tell the snot from the tears, like ugly crying. And I grabbed my husband's sock. It was a clean sock, so no judgment. It was a clean sock. And I wiped off my face, and I had this revelation. And it was that nothing was going to change until I changed. Like whether I liked it or not, I had created my life up to that point. I had to own it, take ownership over it. And God made me a dreamer. And I had dreamed for such a better life than I was living, but I had given up. And I was just waiting around for things to change. 
But like the old saying goes, you know, if you keep doing what you've always done, you'll keep getting the results you've always gotten. And I wanted a better life. So I decided at that point, today was my day. And no one was going to come in the front door with a check to pay off my debts, no matter how bad I wanted that to happen. No one's going to get my house organized. I wasn't going to have, like, Biggest Loser show up and, you know, put me on an exercise program. If anything was going to happen, I had to be the one to do it. So I decided at that point to do something radical. And I did one thing that day that changed the entire course of my life. One thing. And I'm going to tell you what I did later on. But I will tell you right now. It created a chain of events that led to my complete transformation. And I started investing in coaches and going to conferences and trying out exercise and diet programs and starting home businesses and reading every self-help book I could get my hands on. And I'd love to say it was an overnight transformation, but honestly, it was exhausting too. Like it was slow, it was expensive, it was frustrating, and it was full of you know, there were some highs and I would make progress, but then there were a lot of disappointments and failures. So, and I was still, you know, basically scraping and crawling my way through personal development. And then one day it hit me like a ton of bricks. Using my background in psychology, I became aware that I was exhibiting sim symptoms of learned helplessness. This is, let me, let me tell you, learned helplessness. <laughs> Have a hard time saying it. <laughs> Learned helplessness. I saw it in my career as a therapist a lot. It's a phenomenon that was discovered in the 1970s when they did experiments on animals that could do nothing to prevent pain. And as a result, they experienced depression, exhaustion, insomnia, lack of energy, feelings of worthlessness, guilt, inability to think clearly or concentrate, indecisiveness, fatigue. It sound like anybody? Like, seriously, does that sound like anybody here? Just that description I just read. Just give me a yes if that sounds like it might be you. And that is an actual psychological phenomenon, learned helplessness. And I realized, oh, my gosh, like, that's, yeah, like me. Hello. Yes, I absolutely. And these same symptoms, the foggy thinking, the um, no desire, like, no drive at I was like, oh my gosh. So let me give an example of this so you understand what I'm talking about. I'm here, I'm seeing a lot of yeses. So you guys, I got you. You guys are exactly, you understand me. We are the same. I, I got you. You got me. All right. I know this is an elephant. Let me explain. All right. Elephants are these huge mammoth creatures. They can tear down a house if they want to, right? Well, often these elephants, and it is horrible, guys. This is horrible. But these elephants are trained to be submissive by means called crushing. This is so sad. And that's, this is actually still happening in countries. But as babies, they're placed in these small cages where they can't move. And every time they resist or fight it, they experience pain. And it's heartbreaking. And they learn to give up. They are crushed. They have learned helplessness. And as heartbreaking as that is for an elephant, it is happening the same to you. It is a crushing, a crushing that's happening. It's learned helplessness and it results in mom fatigue syndrome. And tell me if this sounds like you. You try, you fail. No matter what you do, it's not good enough. It's too hard. You're tired of trying. That was, that was how I felt. And see, I had been crushed and I was still trying though, but I was starting to develop this learned helplessness because no matter what I was doing, it just wasn't working or it was working so slowly, it totally frustrated me. And I looked at what I was doing and I realized none of these programs were created by people like me. They weren't created for people like me. I'm a mom. I'm not living a normal life where you can like compartmentalize things or plan out specific meals or sometimes even have 30 minutes to yourself, life is full of surprises when you're a mom and you can't always stick to a schedule. You know, it's like the round, what is it? The square peg in a round hole. You know, it's like that elephant being crushed by a cage. It didn't fit me. And so knowing what I know about psychology, this is not me, by the way. <laughs> I hunkered down and I spent months pulling together everything I knew from years of research on personal transformation and everything I gleaned from life coaches that I had invested thousands of dollars in, everything I knew from my career as a behavior therapist, 
I began developing a clearly defined system for change, a system that would work for me, a mom. There was nothing for me at the time. I had to create it. So I had this program, and now it was time to test it out. First, I was my own guinea pig. I used this program for this program I created. I used it for six months, and in that six months, debt was paid off. Guys, I'm, I'm not making this up. Got healthy. I was I got off all my medications. I, my house finally got clean and organized. I got rid of the anxiety. I got rid of the depression. Guys, talking about like my house being decluttered, that's 10 people living in one house. Okay, that's I gave birth to seven kids, raised eight, all 10 of us one house, and it's less than 2,000 square feet. So I'm not saying like we had a ton of room, but I'm telling you the best thing from what I did by far was this, it's my family. I began to love my life. Those are all my kids right there. Courtney was uh, taking the picture. Courtney's my eighth kid. She was taking the picture. And um, I enjoyed being with my kids again. Like, the, it was so cool. But um, I called it Mom Master University. And, and I made out a 90-day challenge plan to go along with it. And I started offering it to other moms. And the results, honestly, were staggering. Like women started writing in, telling me how they were going off their anxiety meds. Their homes were clean and organized. The best, guys, the best thing was when, like, one mom shared that their kids were commenting with things like, Mommy, you're so happy. Or Mommy's laughing. Or Mommy's playing with us. Guys, this is the best. And I'll share some of those stories in a minute. But people started noticing and I was on today's show, and Rachel Ray had me on several times at Fox News. The Wall Street Journal did a write-up. See, I had discovered a system that would work for moms. So let me explain what this is, and I'll tell you why it worked. Because what you may be trying right now to increase your productivity or get results is not working because most systems of organization or time management, management or dieting or home-based businesses even though they appeal to moms, they're not created for moms, and they're engineered for and by people who are SCPs. Now, let me explain what SCP is. If you're taking notes, write this down. Singular, constant, professional. This means you can focus on one thing at a time, and they have the capacity to attend singularly to circumstances, goals, events with constancy. Does that make sense? They're not, they're not like distracted. Okay, their life is, is set very formatted. Um, now, personal development programs like money management programs and diets, exercise programs, even parenting and marriage programs, they're created mostly by SCPs. And they're sitting at a desk somewhere creating these programs. And it works great for them. And it works great for SCPs. And then moms try to execute these programs. And their failure rate is sky high. And here's why. Because moms are MVPs. And that stands for multiple variable professionals. Now, this means we don't have the capacity to singularly focus on one thing at a time by the nature of our profession. And also, for um, thank you, Kelly, for writing that in for Molly's question. Thank you. I appreciate it. We can't like focus on one thing at a time because by the very nature of our profession, we live with multiple variables pulling at us all the time. So diets are great, but when, when you're making meals for the whole family, hello, it may work for a little while, doesn't last. Or exercise programs, great, till a sick baby comes along. Or toddler spills spaghetti noodles or money management programs. They make sense on paper, but when you're talking about unexpected purchases for a family, it just it doesn't carry over well. So most personal development programs are made for SCPs and not MVPs, and there was no system that would work for me as a mom. And I tried them all. Like, trust me, I tried the day planners, conferences, workshops, online systems. I even started different home-based businesses, but it's still created around SCPs, and that's a real struggle for MVPs. Remember that uh, square peg and a round hole? Yeah. So tell me right now, this is, just for, this is just for moms, have you ever started a program? And think about diets or a money management program or a budget or an exercise program. A decluttering program or time management and there's all these testimonials about how awesome it works but for some reason it doesn't work for you have you have you ever done that have you ever started any kind of program and it's it is great and you have high hopes and it, you just it doesn't work 
and I'm sure it would work and it does work for a lot of people but it doesn't work for you so just say yes if it's <laughs> okay so you get me you get me you know what I'm talking about yes like the diets and you see all these people like well I lost all this weight and you're like why is it working for you and it's not working for me all right first of all get rid of the guilt see look Amisha saying wasted money uh, -uh. listen right now going forward I want you to let go of any guilt or feelings of failure you have about buying a program and not using it I just let that go because you're doing so much as a mom and like every other MVP you're pulled in a thousand different directions so I want you to share right now just say no guilt in the comment if you're ready to move forward with this and leave the quote unquote failure if you want to call it that but it's not it's just progress just say no guilt I want you to tell me right now because God says all things have become new like you have a new opportunity right now you're safe here it's only gonna get better good no guilt no guilt I love seeing that yes got that all right, I'm gonna show you why you should not feel bad about previous attempts I'm gonna show you right now because our society is built by SCPs programs diets budgets declared all created by SCPs they're not created for MVPs like you I love that no guilt amen <laughs> like you and me so right from the start you're kind of really set up for failure when you try these programs I mean think about it calendars and schedules and stuff for a mom that becomes a source of anxiety because we never know what the day is gonna throw at us and then when you get off course learned helplessness seeks in because as much as you try you cannot prevent the very pain that is causing you to seek help mom fatigue syndrome sets in eating plans you make meals for yourself you measure everything out but then you have an entire family to feed it lasts for a few days you get off course you can't prevent that pain that caused you to want to change learned helplessness as a result mom fatigue syndrome love that goodbye guilt love it it's not you that failed guide the system failed you it's not you that failed it wasn't failure on my part that I got kicked out of brownies or put in special ed or I couldn't climb out of debt. The system failed me. So here's the problem. We start with one of these programs that doesn't work with our lifestyle as MVPs. We get discouraged. We quit. Now we're worse than before because not only do we feel like a failure, get this, because the program didn't work, but now we feel guilty because we spent money on it. And money that for a lot of moms is pretty hard to come by. Learned helplessness sets in, we start experiencing mom fatigue syndrome. Sound familiar? I'm not alone here, guys. I know I'm not alone here. I felt it, and I know you have felt it too. Your mom, get this, get this now, right now. You are a mom. You're doing the greatest work any woman could do. But it seems we're bumping up against every wall there is. Here's the paradox. We have got the greatest job in the world and we think oh it's gonna be so poetic and picturesque and we're gonna reach our kids gonna be awesome and we feel horrible about it right great job we feel horrible about it especially when we're trying so hard to be productive we need to be productive like our families our kids our daily demands we've got to be productive but all life transformation boils down to our ability or inability to increase our productivity if you can harness that girl I am telling you you can create any life you want to live but because of mom fatigue syndrome we set up this cycle of failure hopelessness exhaustion so can you understand why a lot of people when we first got on you said you were you just didn't feel motivated do you understand why you don't feel motivated does it make sense okay cool awesome see these systems combined with the information age leaves a mom feeling overwhelmed and exhausted and it seems the world is full of answers and solutions but we're still confused am I hitting home with anyone now it's hard to break out of that cage I know if you felt like I felt you feel like that baby elephant in a cage there's so much might and power in you but you just feel like you are being crushed. I'm telling you right now, we're gonna break out of that cage together, baby. 
If there are, if there are moms who are in Mom Master University on this live class, they can tell you, yes, you can break out of that cage because these moms have broken out of the cages, cages of doubt, anxiety, clutter. Ugh, it's awesome. Now, first, as we go forward, the first thing you got to get a clear vision of what's on the other side of those bars. Okay, you got to see it. Like, I believe just like me, God created you to be a dreamer. Look at Bonnie, Lord, they're saying, Yes, you can. Yes, look at Terry, Tamina. Yes, yes, you can. Thank you, Lord. Jenny said, Thank you, Lord. It's true. Break out of the cage. You can't do it because it's crushing you. I want you to do me a favor and I want you to imagine the kind of life you want to be living in five years from now. Okay, the Bible says, Without a vision, the people perish. And that's the core of mom fatigue syndrome. You feel like you're perishing. So I'm asking you to get that vision. Where do you see yourself in five years? If you could just wave a magic wand, create your dream life, what does that look like? Like spend a few minutes and just think about that right now. Oh, Kat, that is such a blessing. Amen. Amen. She says, MMU has changed my life. Praise God. I want you to think about all the aspects. And don't get like, don't think small. We're talking five years. Like life can change dramatically in five years. What kind of money do you want to make? A calm, cool, peaceful life. Love it, Susan. Awesome. Where do you want to be living? How, how do you want your relationships to be with your kids or your spouse or your career or your health? I mean, tell me right now. Give me some description of where you want to be. Remember, this is interactive, guys. This is not just me yapping. we got to have change. I want you to get a vision right now. So where do you see? your life in five years what kind of money would you like to make yes yes just first steps yes it'll be slow Bonnie's true just first steps just get a vision what do you want for your life what kind of money do you want to be making do you want to be out of debt do you want to own your home debt free do you want to be in a bigger home do you want to be um, okay healed praise God get excited in the mornings healthy out of debt I love it yeah, how do you want your body to feel? Run your own business, real estate? Yes, out of the military. Amen. Family connection, living simply? Yes. Purchase our first home. I believe it. I believe it. That slide is me in the after picture. Bonnie, that's so cool. Healthy connection with my family. No debt. Praise God. I believe that, Fair Maidens. Yes. Six-figure income? It's easier than you think, guys. Easier than you think. Get out of corporate. I believe you 30 pounds less. Healthy body, happy marriage, out of debt. Healed and healthy. Healed on my way. I believe it. Guys, this is organized, clean, happy home. I love it. Out of debt, bigger home. Yes, zero debt. Full-time business helping moms. I believe it. Fair means you, you are in the right spot, babe. Happy, healthy, peaceful. Oh, man. I, my kids left home, I, and I, I promise you, life is good. <laughs> It's good. I believe it. Okay, so let's make that happen. Now, I you're going to get in my time machine right here. Okay, we're going to hop in my time machine. We're going to fast forward five years from today. All right, we're zooming along. Now, buckle up, guys. It's going to be a ride. We're zooming along in our DeLorean. Ready? We're in the flux capacitor DeLorean. Now, it's me and you. Time machine. We're going to set it five years ahead, 40 miles an hour, 60. 80, here it comes, 88 miles per hour, and then whew, it looks so different, guys. Now we're going forward five years. All right, we're there. Come on, play along with me. Let's, let's imagine it. Stepping out, stepping out of that time machine. Now, use your imagination, guys. What do you see? Go ahead and walk inside your home. What does it look like from the outside? Now be very careful. We don't want anyone running into their future selves, okay? Don't, don't run into your future self because Emmett Brown would be very mad about that. The results on the timeline could be disastrous. Now if you're really sneaky, you can catch a glimpse of you. What do you like? What is she like? What's she doing? What's on her schedule? Where is she? Is she packing to go on vacation somewhere? What is she wearing? What does she look like? How, is she healthy? Is she slim? Is she strong? What is she doing? Is she building a business? How is she interacting with her kids? What does her home look like? 
I mean, think about it. Now, okay, you know what? We may have stayed there too long. Yeah, we may have stayed too long. The time continuum is nothing to play around with. So let's hurry and get back to the DeLorean. Ready? All right, let's go. 40, 60, 80, 88. All right, we're back. We're back. Stop. We're back. She is free. I love that, Eva. She's smiling. I love it. I love it, guys. All right. Now we're going to switch gears, and I'm going to give you five strategies, guys, to really help you overcome this mom fatigue syndrome because I want you not just to get a vision, but we're going to develop the strategies to create it. Okay? Are you ready? We know the problem. Now let's get ready for the cure. Now you, I want you to write these down. If you have it, write these down. If you have your workbook, there's a hand right there. Write these down. Small wins, stops, structure, support, and system. Now we're going to go through all of these one by one. So if you miss some notes, it's okay. All right. Now. Um, Let's move on. Strategy number one. Let's just start right there. Strategy number one. This is the pinky. Okay. It's tiny, but it's very powerful. So your brain is designed to stop pursuing a goal. Think, come on. This is an interactive class. I want you to think with me. Your brain is designed to stop pursuing a goal when it comes in contact with a negative reaction. For example, you put your hand on a stove. What are you going to do? Take it right off because it's pain. All right. Problem here is that you are not experiencing enough positive results in your life to keep you motivated to continue toward a goal that you set. Chances are you don't jump around and stick stars on a chart every time you wash a sink full of dishes, right? Okay, you need these small wins. That's exactly what you need to do. I'm going to explain what my daughter's doing here because I want you to set up a series of small wins in your life so you can stay motivated and keep going. It's like a mom inside Mom Master University, she, Jessica, she works out three days a week and she puts stars on the calendar on days she works out. And it started like this whole star movement inside Mom Master University where we're putting stars on our calendar and our day planner and on our Liz, we're putting stars everywhere. So let me show you what my daughter's doing here. And she did this the other day and I took a picture of it because I thought, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I mean by small wins. See, she did want to read her history chapter. So, and there's a lot of jobs that we don't want to do that we have to do anyway. So what she did is she grabbed a handful of chocolate chips and she spread them all over her page. And so she would read, you know, a few paragraphs, and when she got to that line, she would eat a, a chocolate chip, and she would read some more and eat another chocolate chip, and it works, you know? So what small wins are you setting up for yourself? Right now in your workbook, you see there's a section for your top three goals. I want you to think about top three things you want to accomplish in your life right now at this stage that you're in, and go ahead and write those down. If you went to bed and you're productive just in these three areas, you would consider that day a success. It could be um, managing your money well, getting out of debt maybe, uh, homeschooling your kids, and, I don't know, getting in shape. So think about that. And see, this is hard for moms to come up with three. And this will change. Like it might be, you know, you can go back later and change this. This isn't set in stone. But this is hard for moms because we're in charge of so much. But to maximize your productivity, I only want you to think of three goals. And our brain tends to think in terms of a lot of stuff, but just three goals. And one of them, I want to be a BFG goal. BFG stands for Big Friendly Giant. And it's a big goal, but the more you move toward it, the friendlier it gets. Now share some of the, those goals. I love this. Do this with your kids with gummy bears. I love it. Share this. Share this in the comment section. Maybe you want to lose 20 pounds, decluttered your house, and maybe there's that one BFG. You know, let me get some water. Maybe that one BFG is like um, pay off 45,000 in debt or something. I don't know. So hopefully you've written down those three goals and feel free to share. Yes, thank you. Organized home. That's lovely. Wonderful. And I want you to share these, declutter, get an organized home, healthy, complete my daily task, get healthy, complete income tax. Yes, Bonnie, girl, you can do that. Yes, better relationships, want to get your degree, 
lose 50 pounds, enjoy homeschooling. Amy, that can totally happen. Yes, yes. Awesome. Awesome. Finish your closet, cook healthy. Okay, wonderful. Now let's create some small wins to go along with each one of these goals. Small wins. I want you to keep these small, okay? Think baby steps and small wins after each one. For example, if you want to clean up your home, like a lot of people want to declutter their home. If you want to do that, every time you finish cleaning the kitchen and wipe off the counters, like I don't know, have a special candle that you light or fill up, in, you know, you fill up the room with a, with a wonderful smell or, um, do you get the idea? Like they're little things, they're little tiny things, but they happen at the end. So they reinforce the work you have to do. So the steps have to be small and the wins have to be frequent. So beside each goal, write down like one small win you can attach to a baby step inside that goal. A lot of people want to get in shape. I hear a lot of people, yeah, you can do essential oils. Like, exactly. A lot of people are saying they want to get healthy, get out, get in shape. So how about this? Every time you exercise, do like Jessica does. Put a gold star in your calendar. When you get 30 stars, go buy yourself a new workout bra or something. You want to save money? Every time you put a set amount into your savings, give yourself a small win and indulge in a movie night. You can even play like I have the tiger and have the whole family dance around the house to celebrate because that's an awesome thing. Now you're going to begin incorporating these immediately into your life. You got me? I want you to say yes. Give me a yes if you're going to start incorporating small wins. Give me a big yes there. All right. Awesome. Big yes. Give me a yes. Come on. You've got to be serious about this. You are going to do this frequently. Very frequently. Someone asked how often. Frequently. You have to make the steps small and make the wins frequent. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Now, strategy two. We're flying, aren't we? I'm, um, strategy two. We are going to give ourselves stops. This is the ring finger. I remember that because when you get married, you stop living the single life. There's commitment, and it's rewarding. So let me ask you something. How would you feel if you started a race, you lined up, the gun went off, you realized you had no idea how long the race was going to be? You didn't even know if it's like a 5K or a marathon. Or how motivated would you be to keep running? Yeah, exactly. Like, you wouldn't. That's exactly how we're running our days as moms. And we're wondering why we feel so overwhelmed and unmotivated and distracted. Is that learned helplessness again. Your brain doesn't know where to stop. And if it doesn't know where to stop, it doesn't want to start. Today, everything is accessible. And you've likely developed what I call the Spotify brain. Here's what I mean. Think about Spotify, really any form of entertainment. You likely don't finish a lot when you listen in or you view. And you surf through. You don't finish. You know what I mean, right? Okay. Now, you'll watch a few minutes of a video. It gets boring. You click off. You go to the next thing. And, that, and you don't get any value because we never go deep. That's why at the beginning I was so adamant about the moms attending this master class. You'll only get the value if you stay till the end. Now, I know some moms will click off. And those will be the same ones who are back a month from now or a year from now with the same overwhelm and exhaustion and fatigue. We can only combat the Spotify brain if we set stops. The Bible says in Isaiah 46, 10, God declares the end from the beginning. Check it out. He declares the end from the beginning, from ancient times, things that are not yet done. We are supposed to do the same thing before we start anything we need to see the finish line so this is not your usual webinar right well let's make this practical how many of you have big tasks to do around the house like decluttering a room is a hairy monster of a task right big hairy monster task decluttering a garage paying off a ton of debt going through all the photos these are big hairy monster projects the ones that are breathing down your neck you know what i'm talking about now we're going to work this second strategy in. Are you ready? You're going to break this project down into smaller tasks. Like the kids' room you just mentioned, yes, break it down into smaller tasks, baby steps, and then the most important part is create a stop. Make sure your brain knows, I'm only going to do this this long, and then I'm going to stop. There's three types of stops. Time stops. 
That's where you get an egg timer, a playlist. We used to do like 10 minute tidies with my kids. I would say, okay, I'd set the timer for 10 minutes. Guys, 10 minute tidy. Let's go around the house and clean up. To this day, they hate that term. <laughs> and uh, task stop. So you'll say like, okay, one drawer. Let's just finish one basket. Let's just fold one pile of clothes. You know, make sure it's a task stop or a tallied stop. This is where you number the items. So my sister has this great, whenever she has a big thing, big pile of things that she has to go through, paperwork to file or something, she only does seven, but she does seven every day. And this could be something like, you can make it a game with your kids. Like, all right, first we're going to put away five items. Now we're going to put away four and now three. And I used to do that with my kids, worked great until they started being able to do the math and realized they were putting away a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> now look at the goals you have and establish one stop that you can begin incorporating immediately. All right, and we're gonna take a little party break. Woo, all right, breathe, stretch. While you're deciding what that stop's gonna be, come on, I'm stretching too, guys. You can't see it, but I'm stretching too. Stretch, deep breath, I know we're flying. Okay, let's move forward. You <laughs> ready? Let's move forward. All right. Yes, give me a yes if you are going to put a stop in your day. Yes, 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 and yes. Amen. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now move on to the next one. You got to give me a yes. Tell me you're going to do this. This is interactive, guys. Interactive. Yes. Awesome. Now strategy three structure this is the guys bear with me this is the middle finger because sometimes we associate that finger with like something negative but it's actually the tallest one and everything hinges on this finger it's structure here's where a lot of moms develop the greatest amount of learned helplessness they try to structure their days guys listen MVPs cannot structure their days I mean you can't schedule your days you can't schedule them. I'm going to tell you why. You can have the perfect plan on paper, and then you try to execute it, and everything falls apart. Your kid wakes up. The diaper leaks. You have to toss and load laundry. Go put the laundry in. Realize you never switched it over, so you stop doing what you're doing. And then the toddler's pulling out all your makeup as he starts drawing on the cabinet. You dump the clothes on the floor. Go clean up the lipstick. The older kid gets his Nerf gun. He needs you to help him with it. You still haven't put those pee, -pee sheets in the washer. Guys, you, you get me, right? right it's not even like 10 a.m yet and that's like what your life is like i get it schedules were invented by scps schedules were invented by scps they no way an mvp can do a schedule we have to structure our days the best way to structure your days with bookends baby i'm not talking literal bookends but bookends think about a shelf with a lot of books on it. If you don't have anything on the ends, those books fall all over the place. And girl, you've got a lot to cram into your day. So you don't, you don't need it flying all over the place. You've got to have bookends. And your bookends are your AM and PM routine. And a lot of you guys already know that I am very firm on AM and PM routines because your AM routine sets the tone and your PM routine sets the stage. First of all, routine, and we've been going through a lot of routines. If you've been following me on Facebook, we've been going through a lot of routines this month. But a routine is non-negotiable. You don't think about brushing your teeth, so you're not going to think about doing this. Because your brain burns up glucose every time you have to make a decision. Listen to me, moms. I'm talking about your brain. Most moms put more time, effort, and energy into thinking about doing something than actually getting it done. You'll spend 30 minutes thinking about when to mop your kitchen and you'll actually spend five minutes doing it. A big reason you have mom fatigue syndrome is you're exhausted pondering and you haven't made progress. So you're gonna have these routines, got it? You're not even gonna let your emotions have a vote because as soon as you're tired and you're not gonna feel like you're, you're gonna start negotiating with yourself and you're gonna negotiate yourself out of it. You don't have to do it perfectly. You just have to do it. So these routines are non-negotiable. Got it? Leave a comment and tell me you agree to this. Just say, got it. Your AM routine sets the tone. 
PM routine sets the stage. Got it. Say, I'm not even going to negotiate. I understand. Got it. Now, let's talk about your PM routine first. The PM routine sets the stage. Just like any great performance, you have got to prepare. A successful day starts the night before. So just take 10 minutes. Now, see what we did there? We just set a stop. 10 minutes. That's all. In that time, you're going to pick up just the main area of the house, lay out what you're going to wear tomorrow, and go over your action plan for the next day. All the things you need to do. This is not a to-do list because to-do lists never get done. This is your calendar or phone app or paper or something like that. We just go over everything you need to do the next day. I'll show you how to get all my best planner sheets free at the end of this master class. And you're going to love using those. But right now, you're going to go over to your calendar for the next day, and that's all you're going to do. You're going to do three things in 10 minutes. Set your three things in 10 minutes. You're going to pick up the main area. That I'm not saying clean up your house, guys. Just pick up the main area that you see when you wake up. So that, you, so that when you wake up, you'll have you'll see something happy and you won't see something frustrating you. Lay out your clothes that you're going to wear the night before and go over your calendar. That's it. That's all you're going to do. In 10 minutes, you can do that. Now, your AM routine, I know we're flying, guys, but I got to cram all this in. Your AM routine sets the tone. Now, I'm you're not going to go into the day scattered and putting out fires anymore. You're going to start filled up. You wouldn't start a road trip on an empty tank, so you're not going to start yourself on an empty tank. Listen, 80% of all change is psychological. Only 20% of your day is mechanics. That means 80% takes place in your brain. That's why it's so important to start the day with the right mindset and the right tone. So this is what you're going to do. You have an hour all to yourself, guys. This is your AM routine. You're going to get up to an alarm. Remember, get your boob on, your butt out of bed. You're going to get going with your body. I don't care if it's just dancing for a song or 20 minutes of yoga or walking. I don't care, but something with your body. Three, I, that's not right. It shouldn't say go over your calendar. It should say get filled in your spirit. I'm sorry. This is a problem on the, I made the wrong thing. That's number three. So please make that correction. If someone could type it into the message, number three is get filled in your spirit. Now you can't do this alone. You have got to have something enriching your spirit, whether you read the Bible, pray, read a good devotional book in the morning, something uplifting. Please get filled in your spirit. Now tell me yes. Come on, tell me yes. You're going to do this. You're going to do your AM, PM routine. Thank you guys for typing that in. I appreciate it. That, that number three, I appreciate that. Now tell me yes, you are committing. This is interactive. You're going to commit. Yes, I am. It shouldn't take any more than an hour. I leave. I give myself an hour in the morning. Strategy four, support, baby. This is a pointer finger because this is where we direct our attention to others. We point them out because, girl, listen, you can't fly like an eagle when you're surrounded by a bunch of turkeys. You will become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Think about that for a minute. Those people closest to you, do you really want the relationships they have? Do you really want the money they make or the stress they live with? You can't go where you want to go alone. It's never happened in history. It never will. You need a support network. And there are two things you need for support. You need a coach. You need a team. Every success story in the world, they had a coach. They had a team. Now, you are not exempt from this. If you're going to get where you want to go, you need help. A coach is so valuable because they show you the path. They have proven results. They'll warn you of the roadblocks. They'll show you the shortcuts. And a team keeps you on track. You need others behind you, guys. Look, when animals are migrating, they do it in packs. Their strength comes in numbers. You want to do whatever you can to attach yourself to a team of people that are successful, positive, and encouraging. And here's the critical question. Here's what you need to ask. Are they living the kind of life I want to live? Because if they're not, uh-uh, you don't it's, You don't need that in your life. Mom Master University, I'll tell you a little more about that in a minute. It's actually a program I developed to help MVPs to radically transform their lives. And I've actually built this component into it. Here's the reason. It's the essential component to success, but it's the difficult, most difficult one for moms to come by. 
and we made it so easy. I'm your coach, and you have a team of successful kick butt moms who offer you the best encouragement and accountability you could ever imagine. And it isn't by luck. I'm very selective in who I allow to join Mom Master University because I always want it to be a powerful group of high achievers. It wasn't intentional. I mean, it wasn't accidental. This was intentional. And maybe you have what it takes to qualify for Mom Master University because if you're still here, then chances are pretty high that you do. Now, give me a yes if you understand you need that support. You need that support. Yes. All right, strategy five, a system. Now, this is absolutely positively the most important strategy of success. So you can have all four in place, but without a system, it's going to fall apart. And here's why. You don't need more information. You need transformation. The quickest and easiest way to get that transformation is through a proven system. I don't want you to deal with trial and error, guys. My guess is you spent years, maybe even decades, with trial and error, starting, stopping, trying and failing, you uh, get out of that cycle. Like, I want that to stop today. That's why I said at the beginning, I only want those moms who are truly committed. Otherwise, the cycle is going to continue and you'll be back where you are a year from now. We got to stop that. Instead of trial and error, you need to save time, money, and energy by plugging into a system that already works. It's like this bread maker. Remember when bread makers were all the rage? Like, everybody had them. And here's the cool thing. You put all the ingredients in, you turn it on, out comes the bread. Of course, it never looks like that, right? <laughs> but out comes delicious bread. It's like, it's a wonder. It's amazing. It's a system. It works. A system is like a bridge. It gets you where you want to be. It gets you from where you are to where you want to be. And that's exactly what I developed when I created my master university. I developed a system that works with MVPs to get real results, and hundreds of moms are using them. Moms like Tony, I just screenshotted some of these because I wanted you to see it. Now, the 90-day challenge is what we offer inside MMU, and she's like, check it out. Her twins are dressing themselves. She's happier, more productive. She has greater boldness. She feels blessed and full. Cleaned out their messy catch-all room. That sounds like a BFG goal to me. And check it out. I've been approaching my stay-at-home mom life as a professional. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's just awesome. Or Erica here, what an amazing woman. This woman, she is incredible. She was at our last conference. And check it out. We were in a lot of debt, facing more essential and expensive repairs in our house. It was a depressing cycle. Been there, done that. Check it out. She committed to radical change. Quite suddenly, everything changed in an amazing turn of events. And now we are debt-free, apart from our mortgage. We have a bank of money to get our home repaired. It's a miracle. Guys, this is just amazing. I love this. Angela right here, she's been in MMU for quite a while. She learned to give herself a kick in the pants. Check it out. My house doesn't look like a disaster zone anymore. Able to have people over. My kids are helping out. My husband and I have strengthened our relationship. Digging out of debt and straightening out our finances. Check out Jamie. She's not only inside MMU, she is a mentor as well. She says, no longer want to stay in my pajamas. My dishes were done. Sink was shining. My kids were focused in school. Relationship with my husband was better than it's ever been. My business, which it was stuck in paralysis, started excelling. Basically, here's the deal. You want to get from A to B. A, where you are now. B, where you want to be, right? Without coaching and training, it's going to take you a lot longer and a lot harder to get there. It's proven, guys. Or even worse, you could start out, get distracted, never meet those goals. I want you to know what these rock star moms know is that you can spend years trying to get from A to B. You can get lost somewhere or never reach it. Or you can plug into a system where you have a framework for personal growth, a team that's behind you, a coach that will direct your steps. So that's Mom Master University. And at a glance, this is Mom Master University. First, we have workshops. These are led by people who, have, who are proven leaders. Like Dave Ramsey said, never take financial advice from broke people. We find people who have an incredible track record, who are proven in their field, whether it's, um, you know, I, I, it covers everything, guys. Uh, money, house management, uh, parenting, all that kind of stuff, health and fitness, all of that. 
we have, oh, well, there it is right there. <laughs> we have all these workshops. Check it out. We have over 70 workshops inside MMU. We also have training, which is faith-based training, how you can apply God's word to get real tangible results. We have over 100 sessions, coaching, and this is like the big-time thing inside MMU. This is the coaching. This is a game changer. In these group coaching sessions, you get personalized direction on specific issues that no one faces but us MVPs. I'm talking everything from parenting babies to college students to clutter, creating wealth, everything. And you have access to live weekly calls, Q&A with me, and you have immediate access to our entire archive, which is over 150 coaching sessions. Now you can think, wait, this is, this is a lot <laughs> that I can't like, this is too much information, but we got you. That's why we have the 90 day mom challenge and it is a customized plan just for you. It makes your success so easy. You take a simple assessment, find out where your personal challenges are. Maybe you want to get healthier or lose weight or get more energy, something like that. Maybe you need to overcome emotional issues, get out of depression, anxiety, manage your home, get organized. You know, we're all different. So I get it. Like it works. It's customized for you. You take your assessment, you get your customized challenge plan, and then you just plug in and get started. And it takes less than, even if you did it perfectly, it still takes less than three hours a week. And it's, it's amazing how fast it works. Also, I get it. We wear a lot of hats. We have a lot of different things to manage. All of us have different skills and abilities. So I refer to it like a one-stop success shop because no matter where your challenge is, we have coaching training resources to help you overcome it. It's so true. All the areas. Think about all those areas that you have to deal with. Like we just mentioned before, all those things. That's what makes us different as moms. We have to deal with so much at one time. So no matter where you are, guys, whether you're a new mom, a seasoned mom, single mom, you know what? We even have women in here who don't have any kids, and we also have men in here. Like, seriously, no matter where you are, you will fit in right here at MMU, and you'll also have fun. Because here at MMU, we're a group of fun, exciting moms who are living the lives of our dreams, and we are going to rally around you so you can break out of that stupid cage that's crushing you and you can experience the abundant life that God designed you to live. Our theme verse is 2 Corinthians 5.13. If it seems we're crazy, it's to bring glory to God. See, the majority of people are broke, anxious, unhappy, unfulfilled. I don't, I don't know about you, honey. I don't want to live like that. Like, it seems crazy how we do things, but we get results. I want you to get results too. And check this out. I popped, um, this popped up on my phone. I need to read this to you. I'm on my first week of my first 90 day challenge. Oh, last week of my first 90 day challenge. Let me tell you, I've had a lot of trials come at me since I started, but many more accomplishments and testimonies. Long story short, was battling depression, struggling emotionally with the thoughts of abandoning my five kids because I thought they'd be better off without me on the verge of going back on medication, which I started MMU almost 90 days ago. I stayed on course. Despite the hard, stressful ties, my marriage was majorly attacked um, with separation for a week. I'm so excited to share with all of you mamas that God has healed my emotions and my marriage during these 90 days. I'm stronger today. I've overcome depression without going back on medication by staying grounded in the Word of God and MMU. I'm enjoying my kids, my husband, my life. My home has been filled with more peace, fun, and love for each other. Another great and exciting adventure took place this week, and I pulled my kids out of school doing homeschool. My whole family is thankful for Hannah Keeley and MMU because I'm a better mom, wife, woman today than I've been a very long time and I'm getting results. I'm making a difference. Guys, that is why right there. That's why. I just started bawling when I saw this because it's just, it's true. Let me show you everything you get inside MMU. First of all, I get the enrollment inside my master university, access to all of the archives of the workshops, coaching. You get access to a personalized 90 day mom challenge, weekly live coaching, private Facebook group. And guys, I'm telling you for 47 bucks a month. And, and you may wonder why I made it an access to our Facebook group. It's just, I don't have the time to tell you about it. So you can check in the comment section, the most amazing women inside there. But I'm telling you this, this is why I priced it at 47 bucks a month, guys, because 
I don't want the price to keep anyone out. That's why price is so low. Like that's less than what I pay when I go out to dinner with my family. But I don't want a price tag to stand between you and the abundant life that God created you to live. Oh, and you can cancel anytime. But if you want to, you can also upscale and be a VIP member where you get prestige seating at our events, our monthly mom's night in, and you get invite only events and early bird access. And the moms who are VIPs, if there are any moms who are VIPs inside our chat room, you can tell them, like our monthly hangouts, this is where we talk about real issues, we deal with the questions, we deal specifically with people and um, my clients. So you you can tell them like about the VIP access. It is so worth it. And you can cancel anytime. And also a 90 day money back guarantee. So like you have nothing to lose, like absolutely nothing to lose. Yeah, and we're doing it for 90 days, guys. You can try out the entire 90-day mom challenge. And if you don't get the results you want, please, I demand you let me give you your money back because you will get the results you want. It's conditional, though. You have to get plugged in to do the work. MMU takes less than three hours a week, and that's if you do it perfectly, guys. And I'm not here to entertain you or motivate you. I want to see you get results. So we have a saying, no belly acres, no toe dippers, no whiny babies. We are very specific about who we let in this amazing group of people because these are some amazing moms. And if you made it all the way through this master class, you probably made the cut. Now, I need to talk about something really quick. And it's unicorns, okay? As much as we would like to believe unicorns exist, they don't. They are a myth. So let me explain four mom myths that you may be believing right now. And one is I'm too busy. So the reason you're too busy may be more of a priority issue, issue than a scheduling issue. And I don't want you to be busy. You're not supposed to be busy. You're supposed to be productive. Okay? You get in a state of busy because it's a pride thing. Because a lot of times, I mean, seriously, sometimes moms just need to feel needed and need to feel important. And sometimes that mask raises this, I'm just so busy. Getting real results for your time and energy. That's what it's about. It's a strategy and a lifestyle. It doesn't come naturally. You got to learn it. Another one, I don't have the money. Please listen to me. The reason you probably don't have the money is not the lack of money, but the lack of money management. In school, we're not taught how to build wealth or create streams of income. And that's why we get so desperate in this weird financial cycle of spending and Guys, inside MMU, you get out of that desperate cycle and get control of your finances once and for all. Another myth, I don't have the time. The reason you don't have the time is you haven't learned the key methods on how to manage it. I, that's what it comes down to. Everyone has 24 hours. Why then do some people achieve huge success and others don't? Because successful people know that time is the most valuable asset they possess. They learn how to manage it. And we teach that. We teach ninja time management, guys, inside MMU. Another one is it won't work for me. I remember, Mama, you're an MVP. I totally understand if you have tried personal development programs and it didn't work and you were disappointed. That's why MMU was specifically designed for you. You, you not only get a streamlined course of study to meet your personal challenges, but you get weekly accountability, guys. Weekly accountability to make sure you stay on course. It works. You just have to work the program. Oh, and I told you if you stuck with me, guys, I would tell you how you can get this bonus. This is a fast action bonus. Sorry, I got to get some water. I am hustling, man. So I have it set up that if you sign up for MMU before midnight tonight, you get this free as a bonus. I'm, I've already stuck it inside the MMU enrollment your back office so that when you enroll the bonus is already there you can download all these sheets now listen this is just this bonus this is a 97 dollars bonus just the bonus is worth it but you have access to a program that's valued at over two thousand dollars guys 47 bucks a month 67 if you're vip totally worth it now listen warren buffett billionaire with a b billionaire he said the best investment you can make is in yourself. Guys, when you invest in yourself, you'll always get a return. And this is the one thing most moms don't do. 
They don't invest in themselves and they wonder why their kids are not performing and their marriage is on the rocks and their finances aren't working and their house is crazy. They haven't invested in you. Remember at the beginning of this masterclass, I told you that the day it all changed was the day I was sitting on the floor crying in a pile of laundry. I told you I did one thing that day that changed my entire course and here's what it was. I took action. Guys, I stood up, I wiped off my face, I started folding my laundry. It may not seem like much, but at the time it was huge for me. And I know enrolling in a $47 a month program may not seem like much. It could very well be that one action you take, that like 2017, that could be your year. This can be your year, guys. We're only a few weeks in. It's so your time. This could be that one action that puts you on the path to the life that you dreamed of, that life that you projected five years ahead of time. I want you to look at the date on your computer or your phone. I want you to look at that right now. Write it in your workbook, or if you have a piece of paper, write down that date. Today, write it down. That's important because I believe, I truly believe you are going to look back at that date and say, there it is. On that day, everything changed. On that day, I got plugged into a system and it brought me to where I am today. That was the day. Guys, right there. Today could be that day. I don't believe it's just luck or circumstance that led you to this master class. You're here for purpose. Your time now. And I gotta share something with you. I'm gonna have to go here, but I need to share something with you that happened a few weeks ago. My oldest daughter, she's in her 20s, she came to me out of the blue and said, Mom, I just wanna say thank you. I didn't know what she was talking about. I was like, what are you talking about? She said, I know, and this is exactly, I wrote it down afterwards because it had such an impact on me. Your kids don't remember, but I do. And I remember you being overwhelmed and depressed. I remember Diet Mountain Dew cans being all over the house. And I just want to say thank you because you're an incredible mom and I really appreciate what you've done for us. And um, gosh, it just, it gets me choked up thinking about it because like, understand this. You're not just doing this for yourself. You have no idea the effect it's going to make on your kids or your marriage or those people who believe in you, who are waiting in your future for you to come into your dreams. And if you're ready, I'm ready, girl. But again, I only want to work with people who are serious about changing their lives. That's why I said at the beginning, if you're not serious, please do not do this. We have a saying, no mom left behind. And this is where your journey could begin. I take your success very seriously. I actually serve two purposes. One, it delivered valuable strategies for you. There's out the people who enroll in MMU because I know if you showed up, if you're still here, then you're ready for this. I know you're ready for this. I've invested a lot of time and energy into helping moms transform their lives. I help them get out of debt, get in shape, enjoy their lives, organize their homes, change their marriages. I do not want to work with anyone who isn't ready for this. A lot of people will wish for change, but in all honesty, they're not ready for it. So yes, click that button, say, I want in. Yes, I want in. Enroll now. Enroll before midnight so you can have that bonus. And I only want to work with serious people. You made it here. You made it. You made the cut. I'm thinking you have what it takes to be part of this amazing program and part of this incredible group of moms. So click that link to enroll. Grab that fast action bonus. Mom, DeLorean, right? Let's hop in the DeLorean because your life is getting ready to totally transform. I'm ready. No mom left behind. Let's get serious about this, okay? Who's going with me, okay? Who's ready? Let's do this thing. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I can't wait to see you inside Mom Master University and work with you hand in hand. And God wants to bless you like crazy. Bye-bye.